A few videos ago, I introduced to you guys a little project that I've been working on. This, of course, was the StopBot, a robot that makes stop motions automatically. In today's video, I'm going to reveal it and show how it works. Lights. This is what it looks like. I know it's not that pretty, but let me explain how it works. So it has this long arm that is squeezed in between these two wheels, and one of the wheels is attached to an EV3 motor. When the motor spins, the arm is pushed forward or backwards. This arm is what pushes the car you see in these clips. Then there is this other part of the robot that makes use of a camera remote to control when the DSLR camera takes a photo. The motor pushes the button and an infrared light shines at the camera which tells it to take a photo. I will leave a link in the description if you would like to get one for your camera. Then finally there is this part of the robot. It's basically an on and off switch. When I want the robot to stop taking photos, I just need to flick the switch and it will finish off its last photo and then it will stop. So that is all the hardware explained. I won't explain how the software works because that's too complicated for a video, but if you want to try figure it out, pause the video here. In the code, I made it so I can change a few numbers around to get the car to move different distances between each frame depending on what FPS I want to film at. Now I'm going to show you it in action. Here is everything set up. As you can see, I have just used some putty to keep the robot from pushing itself. The remote is facing towards the camera. I made this part of the robot detached from the rest of it so I can easily move it to the best spot for the camera to pick up the signal from the remote. So first you can see the arm extends to push the car. Then it is retracted to where it started. The other motor pushes the remote to tell the camera to take a photo. Then the whole robot waits for the camera to take a photo because it, there is a bit of a delay. And then once all of that is done, the robot starts again by pushing the car slightly further than last time and then it returns to its original position, so it's not in the frame of the camera. Some of you may have noticed that the car has been easing in and out in some of the clips. I programmed the robot to do this whenever I press one of these two buttons. The top one will make it look like it's getting faster and faster and by moving it a further distance between each frame and the bottom button will make the car look like it's getting slower and slower. This was the most complicated part to program. If you have any suggestions on how I can improve the robot, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a like. Let's aim for 70 likes. Oh yeah, and we also have a second channel which we've been uploading short clips and things like that to. I'll leave a link in the description so you can subscribe. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe or watch another video.